Hello, 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 and happy new moon to all of my Taurians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a special reading on today. Hopefully you all are having a great day on today. I know that you are because that's the intention you set. We're going to get right into your reading. The energy has already been cleared. The space has already been cleared, so let's go. Let's go. By now you know who I'm talking to, Taurians. I am talking to my hardworking very generous and trustworthy bulls. Yes, indeedy, I am talking to each and every one of you. New moon energy. Yes, even though the moon goes through its eight phases, the eight major moon phases from new moon to full moon, you're setting your intentions. This is a time for you to rest, right? This is a time for you to rest, write out your intentions, plant your seeds, right? Let's get right into your reading and see what these cards have to say. Taurus, let's see what these cards have to say to all of my bulls. Yes, let's see what the message is, Taurus. Let's see what the message is to all of my Taurians. Let's see. Okay, somebody needs to be strong because some relationships are, or some energies are falling by the wayside. When I say energies, when I say relationships, that's any kind of a relationship. It could be work relationship, friendships, romantic relationships. Right, Taurus? Okay. All right, so here's your card. Here we have the higher font. Yes, somebody is allowing some tricky relationships, first of all, within themselves to fall by the wayside. Why? Because you're protecting your heart. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting this good heart that you have. This is not where you have to prove anything to anybody, Taurus, right? You don't have to prove anything to anybody. We also have the Four of Pentacles. Very nice. Somebody's focusing on traveling, kind of getting away and just kind of sort of resetting and recharge. Great for new moon energy. We have the three of cups and also being in a posture of gratitude. So this is nice, Taurus, because your focus has shifted away from something that you may have been a little stubborn on to move to, you know what, let me go plan a trip, right? So tricky relationships are falling by the wayside, right? And that's tricky relationship with jobs, with people, fam well, people, family, <laughs> under the people umbrella family, colleagues, any kind of relationships that cause you to overthink and cause you to feel sad and blue and down and cause you, cause you to, um, cause you to, somebody may have Pisces in their chart as well, but causes you to, um, I don't want to say go so down as far as be depressed because this, again, is t attached to Pisces. So you're not depressed about it. It's just more sad or disappointed or just, like I said, feeling down, right? And so you want to tap into your strength. Somebody may also have Leo in their chart as well. So, again, you know, um, any tricky relationships with anybody. You all are not at this point interested in getting anybody back. This is what I'm seeing here in the cards. And, again, only take what resonates with you, right? Um, and, and watch some of the other videos for your other signs. Pull your full birth chart. Your moon sign is just as important. Well, not just your moon sign. Your other signs are just as important as your sun sign. So go watch some of the other videos, right? Pull your full birth chart. Some people only are one-dimensional. Yes, I am a Taurus, and this is what this means. And so when you meet other Taurians and they're not the same way that you are, you're like, I'm disappointed. I can't Why? Oh, my God. That Taurus is jealous. That person is backbiting. That person is malicious. This person is, and that's not me at all. Because you got to go watch some, you got to see some of the other, um, see what some of the other characteristics of some of the other signs are in your own birth chart, right? Yeah, so a lot of times people may look at, let's say for instance, Taurus, if you dated a Pisces before, you may not want to go look at a Pisces chart because you could be fixated on, oh, I don't like Pisces, or I don't like other Taurians, or I don't like Leos, right? So, but you, if you have it in your chart, it's best for you to get to know why you are the way that you are. Like, what, what are the characteristics of your moon sign? Moon, right? See, by the time the full moon comes, this is what some, somebody has been holding on to something. But the new moon, the new moon energy for you is, you know what, I'm going to just bury some relationships, some of the tricky relationships in my life. And I'm not going to I'm not going to um, I'm not going to bother the dead relationships. I'm just not going to I'm not going to bother that energy anymore. And so by full moon time which is not too long, not too far away. I want you all to go download a moon calendar. I'm not going to give you the answer to this. Download a moon calendar so you'll see exactly when full moon comes. By the time full moon comes away, that thing will be, that thing will be buried for life, and you will be much happier. Like, oh, okay, that's how you do it. Yes, that's how you do it. Yeah. So just like, just like I want you all to understand how this works with the, the uh, these eight major moon phases. Just like when... Some people think from 
like December 31st, they're going to set their, their New Year's resolution, then boom, on January 1st, all of a sudden things are magically going to change. That's not how it works. The moon is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, our moods, and our emotions. I hope somebody fully understands what I'm saying. Say, well, no, that's not right. Well, this is supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be that way, right? Things don't just boom, magically change. It goes to a progression, right? And so what I'm doing here is trying to help you to understand how this progression works. So, by, so right now is new moon energy energy right new moon energy so you're planting your seeds you're resting you're resetting you're saying okay all those tricky relationships that i may have had with family members friends you know where things were kind of iffy and you know they kind of up and down and all over the place and i feel some kind of way and it makes me emotional and that kind of thing those things are falling by the wayside because you've committed to burying that either you've had a conversation with somebody and said okay we need to have a reset we need to reevaluate this relationship first of all you had it with yourself you may have had it with god too but again you, we need to reset, right? And so you're working on that. And so, but I'm telling you by the full moon, if you are committed to burying those feelings and not, I mean, I'm not saying get over anything. I'm saying I'm committed to healing from this, right? I'm committed to just either letting it go or just moving on from these relationships or certain these feelings about it. I'm not going to be bullheaded. I'm not going to be stubborn. I'm not going to be stuck on this. I'm focusing on my happiness and somebody is planning a trip. And because you're doing that, you're going to start seeing legacy wealth because you release that into the universe. And now this is what's coming your way. Somebody has been waiting on money for a very, very long time. And it, it doesn't, very few people hit the lottery. So it has to be this progression, right? And even people who hit the lottery, there's a lesson for them to learn as well. There's a lesson for them to learn. Go watch some videos on people who have hit the lottery. One day they're filthy rich, I mean, one day they're poor, then they're filthy rich, and then they're poor again in more debt than they've ever been in again. Because if you are a giver or a nurturer and you haven't dealt with the root issues, like this is what's walking you through those root issues. Okay, this is how you get to wealth, Taurus. There's some things that you haven't let go that you're going to let, that you have committed to letting go during this new moon, during this phase and during this cycle. And so that's where you're going to have, and you're in a posture of gratitude. Somebody is in your life saying, focus on, this is what I'm seeing in your cards, Taurus. Somebody is in your life saying, focus on what you have, not what, don't go, don't stay stuck in the past. Somebody is helping somebody with this. It could be a spouse. It could be an ex. It could be somebody is helping you through this journey. It could be your, your, your circle of people telling you, don't worry, but look at your life. Look at your life. Move on from it. Move on from it. Somebody may be physically moving as well, but move on from it. That's too much baggage, right? Look at how blessed you really are. You're working hard. Money is following you. The opportunities are endless. You are a leader, right? This fire inside of you is letting you know that you're a leader. Go ahead and start that business you've been thinking about starting. Look at how blessed your life is. Don't stay stuck on that because as you notice that when you were stuck on it, guess what it was affecting first and foremost? It was affecting your home life. It was affecting the, your sphere of influence, and it was affecting your money because that's how God gets messages through to earth signs. Here we have somebody at the end of a, of a journey, right? Like I'm telling you, by the full moon, if you have committed to leaving some things behind and just moving on from some things and getting focused and getting as far away from it as possible, guess what you're going to start unlocking? Unlocking the door to your wealth, financial independence. That's what's happening, Taurus. That's what's happening. So kudos to you. More money coming your way. Yeah. It's like the wealth of the wicked has been transferred to you, right? Any Anybody who has hurt you deeply, where it's just caused you to just sink into this, at some point sink into this, almost like just stay stuck on being sad, right? And so once you released it, that was the key for you to unlock your wealth. I see victory for you. Yeah, I see victory for you. That's what I'm talking about, Taurus. That's how you get to the victory. That is how you get to the victory. Let's pull well, let's pull another card, and then we're going to pull some Oracle cards, and let's see what we're going to do here. This is nice, 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 nice. Yes, let's see. What else do we have here? Let's see what else do we have here, Taurus. I love it, love it, love it. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles, more money. So a lot of money, like I said, is coming your way. Again, see, this is reiterated. You're creating legacy wealth. So somebody could be in a relationship with a Virgo, another Taurus, a Capricorn. Somewhere it could be in your, 
in your um, in your circle, somebody's telling you, don't sweat the small stuff. Look at your life. Like, really, look at your life. Look what you've accomplished. Don't focus on them or don't focus on that. Focus on where you are right now, right? Believe it or not, okay, somebody may think this is really crazy or weird. Believe it or not, that person who hurt you or those people who hurt you actually played a huge role in you being learning how to unlock your own wealth. Remember, as bulls, sometimes you all can be quite stubborn and don't want to move. And so some of it, some of it had to be like somebody was somebody burned you, like somebody said something to. It's almost like somebody did something you to you to fuel that, to fuel that energy. Like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them. I don't know if it was what that was, what that energy was for you, but somebody had to put a fire up under a bull to say to come out to be the who the person that was already predestined to be wealthy. Yeah, as odd as that may seem for some people, you know, somebody wasn't going to move until some fire was put up under them. Here we have, once you realize the central role you play in creating your life, you will embrace every day as a new world. Renewal is effortless and spontaneous. Boom. See? Then we also have, I am the sender and receiver of reality. I meet myself in an unbroken embrace. Boom. See? Right there. Right there. Let's see what else we have here with these cards. Let's see what else we have here with these cards. Let's see what we have here for these cards. All right. Again, money, chanting. Somebody needs to create some kind of a chant. I am wealthy. I am whatever it is you say. I'm a multi-billionaire. I'm a millionaire. Whatever it is, start saying it, right? But there's some things somebody got to release. You know, don't tiptoe around it. Don't become passive aggressive with it. You know, address it head on. Don't let the, you know, don't, you don't want somebody to keep blow torching you before you move because you're just stuck somewhere. Just like really, really stuck and fixated. Because remember, you're a fixed sign. If you need to forgive somebody, forgive that person. Release it into the universe. Create a very healthy boundary. Because this is what I'm seeing coming your way. A lot of money. Adjustments are required. So somebody still needs to make some adjustments. I'm telling you, I'm telling this, I'm, uh, listen, <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm seeing here in the cards. So much money is trying to be released to you, Taurus. Somebody is still holding on to something. Anytime this card comes out about some adjustments re being required, see, by the time we get to the half moon right here, right? The first, the, the, by the time we get to the half moon, somebody's going to wonder if, okay, did I make the right decision? You may want to save this video because for real, by the time we get to the half moon and I'll let you know when we're at the half moon, somebody's going to wonder, am I making the right decision to forgive that person and release it into the universe? I'm nervous. I'm scared. I mean, is it going to work? It is going to work. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to help somebody to release, to at least make room for receiving an abundance, meaning your person, if you're not already married or in a, a healthy, I would gotta say healthy, in a healthy relationship with the person where you all are creating your legacy together, but this is all you, this is nice. Get in that posture of gratitude. That's what this is for. New moon energy is about resting, resetting, setting your, setting, uh, planting seeds for what it, whatever it is that you want, Taurus releasing some things and some 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 of those things may be some people it could be fear it could be doubt it could be any it could be an emotion whatever you need to release release it but i do see a remnant of people who are going to be victorious at this releasing it and all of a sudden wealth is coming your way all kinds of energy of wealth you're going to be in contact with wealthier people you know in different circles the whole nine yards but again it is up to you when it happens that's what I have for you, Torians. I'll see you again in a couple of days. Bye.